Well, you did it. You decided to go with Stream Elements Chatbot for your Twitch stream. But here's what you're thinking. How do I make these awesome chatbot commands so that my viewers can have fun in the chat? My name is Falonair, variety streamer at twitch.tv, and I'm here to bring you some of my favorite Stream Elements chatbot commands to use in chat. These commands aren't in any particular order, so we'll go through the common ones first, and then we'll go through the uncommon ones that I like seeing in my channel and other channels as well. To get started, let's go to your Stream Elements dashboard. On the left hand side, you'll see a button that says Chat Commands. Clicking on that, we'll go to Custom Commands at the top. And here we'll see a large section where we can add in our new commands. The first command we're going to talk about is the shout out command. This is used to shout out other people in your chat, whether they're regular streamers and viewers in your chat, or maybe it's somebody that just rated you. This is typically done with exclamation mark SO or exclamation mark shout out. I'll show you how to do both. Once you pick your chat command name, then we go with a response. For me, it's we rate and then the variable for user, five stars. They were last seen playing this game, which is the last game that they played. Check them out at twitch.tv backslash and then their name again. Don't worry if these commands are a little confusing. I'll copy all of mine and put them down in the description below. All you'll have to do is paste them into your new commands and then change the sentencing to whatever it is that's appropriate for your stream. This command is really simple. It puts their username in the chat. It puts the last game that they played and it links their Twitch URL so people can click on it and immediately go to their channel. Hi there. Post-production Falconer here, realizing that I didn't explain the thing I told you I was going to explain. So let's get to that. In your shoutout command, if you go to the advanced settings, and then scroll down to command aliases. Aliases are different words that, when seen, will trigger the same command. So, if we add shoutout to the command aliases, this command will trigger both when we use exclamation mark SO, and when we use exclamation mark shout out. So no matter what method you or your mods use to shout out someone, both of these will apply and trigger the exact same command so you don't have to have two different ones. So uh, yeah, back to what the other guy was saying. The next command we're gonna talk about is the lurk command, and it's actually kind of a two-parter. The lurk command is really useful for your viewers to let you know that while they may have your stream open, they're not actively at their keyboard and able to respond, but they're still watching. The response for this is pretty simple. It's username for me is going on a trip to the stars. They'll be back soon. The user variable, all it does is it pulls in the name of the person that triggered the command and puts their name in there. So if I used it, it would say Falonir is going on a trip to the stars. In addition to the lurk command, you'll typically see what's called a back command. It's kind of the opposite of a lurk command, as it lets the streamer know that the viewer is back in the chat and able to participate in any conversations that are happening. Feel free to format these to anything that works for you. You're probably also wondering why I have backslash me in front of all of my responses. All backslash me does is it changes the color of the text to the color of the person that is sending the message. If it's your bot, it sends it as your bot message. You can even use it for yourself in chat by typing in backslash me and it'll put the same color of your text as is the color of your name in chat. The next command I want to talk about is typically called a death counter, but you can use it to count anything. This is a command that when put in the chat increases the count of something by one, whether it's a death counter, a win counter, a cuss counter, whatever it is that you want your chat to be able to keep track of. This command could be a little confusing, so I'm going to try to go into as detail as quickly as possible. Once you pick your command name, we'll go to the response. The response will depend on what it is you're counting, but the variable that we're looking for is the count x variable. To write this out, we do dollar sign, open bracket, count, space, a word, and then we close the bracket. That word can be anything. It doesn't have to be the same as the name of your command. It doesn't even have to be related to it. All that word is, is it denotes it from other counters. So if we have count rip, that rip is a counter. If we have rip with an exclamation mark, that is a different counter. If we have count cantaloupe, that is a third type of counter. All it's doing is it's separating what the different counts are, which means you could have multiple counters going up at the same time. As I'll show you an example right over here, the first instance of rip is going to be just with the word rip. See the counter going up. The second instance of this is going to be rip with an exclamation mark next to it. 
And as you'll see, that counter is completely different. So you can have an infinite number of counters, depends on whatever it is you want to call them. And it doesn't have to be a word, it's just a string of letters. The next command that we're going to talk about is called a prime command. This is a very useful command for your mobile viewers that want to give you Twitch Prime subs, uh, but don't have the ability to on mobile. Once you pick your command name, the response, whatever it is you want it to be, needs to have subs.twitch.tv backslash and then your username. That means whenever they type in exclamation mark prime, it'll pull up a link that they can click on that allows them to use their Twitch Prime to sub for you. The next command that we're going to talk about is the socials command. This command is going to link your Discord, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans, Snapchat, YouTube, Etsy, whatever links it is that you want to send out to your Twitch stream to give them access to your other platforms, your other social medias. All you have to do here is list out your different social medias with links to them. The important part is having a space at the end of your link before you get to the next one. Otherwise, it's going to have a really weird formatting issue and your links might not work. Once you set this command up, test it in your chat just to make sure all your formatting is right. If you've learned something from this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. That's it for the common commands. Let's go to some of the uncommon ones and see what we can find. The next command we're going to talk about is the hype command. You can put anything in this. It can be uh, a message. It can be a string of sub emotes. Uh, it can be anything you want. And these are used in times of like excitement, uh, milestones reached in a game that you're playing. You get rated by somebody and there's a lot of fervor in your chat. Come up with something interesting that is unique to you that'll help drive excitement in your chat with your viewers. Speaking of raids, let's talk about raid commands. Raid commands are a good way to create uniformity and uniqueness in your chat whenever you go raid other streamers. Typically, you'll have two different raid messages. One for your subscribers that have your subscriber emotes in it, and one for your viewers that aren't subscribers so that everyone has a very similar message to go into your raid with. I like the cohesiveness and uniqueness that this brings to your raids, and it makes them really stand out. The command can be something as simple as raid one for your sub emotes and raid two for your non-sub emotes. Come up with something really interesting and unique for your stream that your viewers can send to other streamers when you raid them. The next one I wanna talk about, not something I made up, but I saw it and I really like it. It's called a good vibes command. This command is really simple. It randomly generates a message response whenever someone uses the good vibes command. Let me show you. My response here is user, which is the person that triggered the message, is, and it randomly picks from these options denoted with apostrophes. Loved, important, legendary, a joy to have around, and is having cake tonight because the police. It doesn't really matter what you put in here, as long as you denote each one by a set of apostrophes, it'll randomly pick from the options that you've given and respond with it. You can come up with some really funny things, some really wholesome things, anything that you may want this response to elicit in your chat. Try it out and see what you can make. The last one I have is called a welcome message. Now this can be a simple, hey, welcome to the stream. This is what we do. How are you doing? It can ask them a question. It can just be an emote of you giving them a hug. Whatever it is that you want to make that welcomes new viewers into your stream, encourages them to chat if they feel up to it, you want to try to make sure that your viewers feel comfortable being in your stream. And these are the nine commands that I use in my stream, and I like to see in other streams as well. They really do give you a sense of uniqueness, and you can customize these to do whatever you want them to do. If you have some good commands that I didn't bring up here, feel free to put them in the comments below. I really want to see what kind of cool stuff that we can make to go with our streams. Don't forget that I stream every week on Twitch.tv on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I'm Falonir, I'm hungry, and I'll see you later.